to the young age and in this video I am going to show you how this CRUD operation works using Django framework in the front end and um, PHP my, sorry MySQL in the back end so so far we have covered the insert and delete as well as this view page so now in this video we will work on this edit section so when we click on this edit then you can see this URL here edit with ID the ID is displaying here 3 you can see right now so let's go to here and then close all of the pages close other tabs now let's go to open path and then in the app drive it's my app drive jingle and then dj student this one so now uh, let's open students and then template here you can see view and the first one was insert right this one this index so let's open this so what we will do uh, just copy it or save as edit.html edit.html right so apart from that we need to change also into view file so well let's get back here and let's go to view file and then here is delete we need to create a file called we need to create a function here called edit and then id will be passed here and we need to make modification in this one so we need to make changes here so it will be like this added students and then students of objects and then get id1 and then render request edit.html then students and this run you will pass there so if we click here now now there will be new three here so based on this one we need to change also into our route file so let's go to here students and then urls okay we need to make changes here so it will be like here just copy it and then edit edit and then int id and then here also it will be edit so now if we refresh the page here then we can see this one here but this time uh, it's not coming here the data so we need to make modifications in our edit page this one so first thing that we need to do is inside of form here there will be input type hidden okay hidden and then id name id and this id also so student id here so similarly we need to make modification here also uh, first name last name input input type text name f name value sorry value equals to double curly braces here and then students dot first name dot f name alright 
similarly we can change this one also last name so here will be L name in this one also and again here email so it will be email name equal to email and here email also that's it we have these fields so now let's try here and check so as you can see the data is coming through okay so now we need to change here update which will create here update so inform action there will be update and then after update we need to pass here students.id so if you refresh it and check inside going here then you can see here input type hidden name this one and also apart from that you can see input type hidden name id id and this one value puts it too so this id is fetching here so now let's create one another one so is it index or which one no this td so it should have been inserted actually so no problem so just remove this one and then rajesh kumar rajesh at the gmail.com press this one you can see this one so if i edit here then the data is coming well all right so in the next video i will show you that when we press this button submit then it's a, it should get uh, edited okay the data should be get edited so that's it in this video thanks for watching bye, -bye.